Has your company missed out on a contracting opportunity because you were not quite sure if you met the new NIST 800-171 requirement? If so, hopefully we can help with that. The first step is understanding exactly what is NIST 800-171. Then, how can you prove your compliance to the government? At Baseline, we provide education and consultation on how to meet the intent of each of the security controls. But first, we need for you to understand exactly what is NIST 800-171. So, let's get started. This publication defines the government requirements for the protection of controlled unclassified information, or CUI, in non-federal systems and organizations. Basically what that means is that the government now requires companies that would like to conduct business with the U.S. government, also known as government contractors, to meet a set of security controls on their corporate network to ensure they protect sensitive government information. NIST SP 800-171 outlines 110 security controls that must be implemented on your computer, systems, and corporate network before you can bid on government contracts. Now, let's talk about what is a security control. A security control is a countermeasure or safeguard that is implemented to avoid, detect, counteract, or minimize security risk to physical property, information, computer systems, or other assets. An example would be password requirements. Everyone knows that computer systems can be password protected, but did you know that you can add more security measures to ensure that your password is harder to crack? For example, let's say your password is 12345, which continues to be the top password used by most users. This is a very weak password and easy to crack. It is safer to create a stronger one. One way to avoid this risk would be to force your users to make your password requirements 12 or more letters using a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols, and changing your password on a regular basis. Adding this security control forces the users to meet these security requirements. So, this password is a much harder password to crack. Most of you are saying, who can remember that? But, if I spelled it out, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Hashtag number one, it's not so hard to remember. By using the first letter of a common phrase helps to build a stronger password or passphrase. The next question you're probably wondering is what is CUI? CUI is unclassified information requiring protection as identified in a law, regulation, or government-wide policy. So it's basically information that is not classified but could be considered sensitive and could provide a security risk to the government if disclosed to an unauthorized individual. Now we'll go into how to prove your compliance. In order to prove your compliance to the government, your procedures will have to be thoroughly documented. You will also need to monitor and document any changes and updates during the life cycle of the affected computer systems and network devices. There are two documents you can use to prove your compliance. The first document is the System Security Plan, or SSP, and the second is the Plan of Actions and Milestones, or POAM. The SSP is a detailed description of your security controls you have implemented on your network. Everyone's plan will be different because there are multiple ways to meet each of the security controls. For example, a control could be to place a firewall on your network. There are numerous companies that build firewalls and each provides different levels of security. Also, they should all be manually configured so most companies will have a different configuration and still be compliant. The POAM is just what the name states. It is a plan for your network that details how you will meet any of the security controls you do not currently have a solution for at the time of the assessment or any discrepancies that were found during the assessment. The POAM provides dates as milestones to show when you plan to have your network compliant. The key to security control implementation is not to prevent a data breach, but to make your system less of a target, much like an alarm system on a bank. If you have three banks within a mile of each other and one is secured with locks, the next has locks and alarms and the third 
has locks, an alarm, and an armed guard, which one would likely be targeted by a criminal? Cybersecurity defense works in the same manner. Any computer system can be hacked. The key is to make your system more difficult to penetrate. Finally, what's coming in the future? The government is currently developing a certification program, which is called the Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification, or CMMC. This certification will be required as proof of your compliance with NIST 171. The way to obtain this certification will be through a third-party auditor. These auditors will conduct the assessment of your security controls and your documentation to include your SSP and POAM. They will then provide you with the certification once you meet the minimum requirements. The details of the CMMC are still being developed and are projected to be available in January 2020. The SSP and POAM can still be used until then. Once the CMMC goes into effect, then the rules will change per future guidance provided by the government. For more information on NIST 800-171, please refer to the following link. You can also email us with questions at information at baselineva.com. If this content was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe, and also post any questions or inputs below and we'll address them in a future video. Thank you.